I have some really solid advice for Netflix and I'm not giving them this advice because I like Netflix or anything. But I'm mostly giving them this advice because I think it would benefit the anime industry and like just anime in general. So Netflix recently has, you know, dipped their toes into the anime community. They've noticed how much money the anime community brings in. They didn't really care about anime fans before, but now all of a sudden, you know, because they see that anime brings in money, they're, they're trying to get a piece of the pie. And Netflix has a big problem when it comes to anime. First of all, they have a lot of problems outside of anime. Their pricing is not the greatest. The way they treat their writers, it's not the greatest. But they have another problem when it comes to animes, and this is releasing animes in bulk. So Netflix, for some reason, I don't know what the reason is, but they love releasing things in bulk. They don't want to give it to you weekly. They just want to give it to you, you know, finished. They really don't like simulcasting. They've done it at times, but usually they try to avoid it. If you don't know what simulcasting is, it's basically whenever the episode airs in Japan, they air it here as well. That's called simulcast. They don't do that. Either what Netflix does is they wait for the anime to finish being aired in Japan, and then they release it in bulk here, or they'll just release it in bulk here if they own the IP to it. But I've noticed a problem, and I think it's not just me, I think Chibi Reviews noticed it as well, but a lot of anime fans, I've seen a lot of other people talking about this as well, there is a problem, especially with anime, when you release it in bulk. So the other day, a huge anime came out, or it should have been huge, and it was called Pluto. This is an anime that a lot of people have been anticipating, it's done by the same author that worked on Monster, so it has a little bit of a background. This manga came out I believe in 2003. So this anime had a fanbase, and a pretty solid fanbase at that, and it kinda gets swept under the rug. This anime came out, and it got talked about for one day, and now it seems like nobody's talking about it. And even in that first day, not a lot of people were talking about it. I haven't even started the anime yet, I just don't have time. It's Halloween, I'm watching a lot of Halloween stuff instead. I will get to it eventually, probably during this winter. So the question is, why does that happen? Why, whenever an anime is released in bulk, does it not get the same attention as if it were to be released weekly? And this applies with not only anime, but it applies with TV shows as well. Let's take a look at some recent shows that came out that were released weekly. So earlier this year, we got a very popular TV show by the name of Last of Us, right? I don't know if you watched it, probably Probably you did, right? This was the talk of the town. I literally saw posters of this show everywhere in Toronto. This show was being released weekly and what it ended up doing was it fostered a very strong community during those weeks that it ran for. Every week when the episode dropped, I believe it was on Sundays if I'm not mistaken, people would start to talk about it on social media. This would include things like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and it would be discussed and heavily discussed because everybody would be talking about the same episode that they saw. This leads to other people not watching the show wanting to join in. I forgot what the name for this was, but when everybody is doing something, you tend to also want to do it. So when week to week, everybody is talking about The Last of Us, this makes other people want to join in as well and join in on the community. This applies to anime as well, right? Jujutsu Kaisen does this. Every single week, whenever JJK comes out on Thursday, people are talking about JJK that day. It's on Twitter, it's on TikTok, it's on Instagram. This fosters a strong community that is slowly building up and that gets stronger over time. When a show is released in bulk, which Netflix loves to do, the show doesn't get the same level of community. I mean, sometimes it can, but other times it won't. And this is for a couple of reasons. People won't be on the same episode, so when people will be talking about the show, they won't be talking about the same episode. Some people will be on episode 3, some people will be on episode 4, some people will be on episode 5. This is kind of what happened with the One Piece live action. I remember everybody when the One Piece live action came out, of course One Piece was successful, but this is because of the sheer amount of hype it had. I would have been surprised if it wasn't successful, but when it came out, people were talking about different episodes. Whereas if it was simulcasted, right, and it came out weekly, then we would have all been talking about the same thing. And I feel like for anime that are not really that popular, I feel like simulcasting might be the better option. One Piece has the option to not simulcast because One Piece is extremely popular and no matter what you do, people are going to watch it. But something like Pluto that isn't as popular as One Piece, I feel like it should be simulcasted. Anyways, that, that's just my personal advice for Netflix. Like, if you're going to produce more anime, which you definitely are, try to simulcast more anime, right? Like, people love it. People love simulcasting. They want to get the anime. First of all, we get the anime earlier. On top of that, it makes the community stronger. Why wouldn't you do it? I'm guessing the reason is for convenience. I don't really know the behind the scenes, so I can't really say. But yeah, listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, make sure you follow, subscribe. I talk about all things anime manga related. I know people are going to ask me what Halloween stuff have I watched so far. Um, I've watched Practical Magic and I've watched Corpse Bride yesterday. So Corpse Bride is really good. First time watching it, by the way. Anyways, peace out.